Joining me now is the Program Manager, Migration Management, and the Head, Lagos Sub-Office of the International Organization for Migration, Ibrahim Tamrat. Ibrahim, it's good to have you join me right now on, uh, on set. Now, when it comes to uh, the issue of human irregular migration, IOM has been doing a great job, which a lot of people have commended across the world. But narrowing it down to Nigeria... A lot of people still want to, even apart from those who come back, who are brought back, assisted back to Nigeria, we still hear a lot of people want to go back again to wherever they are coming from. Talk to us about some of these uh, 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 troubling and concerning issues that come to your notice. Um, can you please re repeat the question? Uh, the connection is a bit... Uh... All right, there is, there is a concerning... There's, a, uh, there's an issue right now where those who migrated illegally and returned to Nigeria, some of them still want to, you know, migrate again to Libya and to Europe. Can you talk to us on some of the reasons why this is so? Okay. Um, this returnees, uh, one of the things uh, why... The reason for them not wanting to uh, integrate back, reintegrate back into their communities is uh, there are two uh, sides to it. One is how well the community actually receives and welcomes them back home and how they are allowed to reintegrate back into the uh, social and economic uh, aspects of the society and uh, avoiding stigma. Uh, not actually uh, uh, considering them as a failure, uh, instead uh, celebrate the experience that they had and uh, try and use that to the benefit of the, com the community. The other is in terms of uh, uh, us, the, uh, the government, the uh, international development actors, uh, what we make available in terms of job creation uh, to be able to ensure or to answer with the economic factor that initially pushed them uh, 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 away. And uh, with this goes also the access to regular migration channels. Uh, so uh, not everybody uh, might end up uh, working at home. Uh, international migration is one of those things that need to be promoted uh, to allow uh, communities grow and to allow uh, economies benefit from uh, migration. So this limited access to migration, regular migration channels is one of the issues uh, that is still contributing to the push factors. All right, when it comes to reintegration, like the picture you have painted now, uh, what are the strategies, what is IOM doing and what is the approach to the issue of reintegration of these people, the returnees? Um, if I got if I got the question uh, correct, um, in terms of reintegration, um, we are operating with uh, in partnership with the federal government of Nigeria, and we are also uh, working closely with the civil society organisations um, that come back uh, uh, to assist the retainees to ensure social and economic reintegration. And this starts from uh, the coordinated support that we are providing at point arrival at the airport, whereby several government agencies and IOM uh, deploy uh, resources to uh, provide support. Uh, we're working with uh, organizations and uh, uh, government agencies such as the NCFRMI, NEMA, NAPTIP, uh, uh, NIS, and uh, Port Health uh, in this aspect. And uh, with the reintegration, um, we're providing uh, services starting from business skills training to uh, set up of micro businesses, education, and, and, and so forth. But this also uh, requires the active uh, support and uh, uh, backing of the societies, the communities that are receiving them. That means uh, they need to uh, support uh, whatever they're pursuing, they need to support that. But the whole thing is also that these returnees can actually contribute back to the community to which they are going. Um, we do have various forms of uh, uh, reintegration that we are currently uh, uh, supporting. Uh, um, uh, thanks to the generous uh, um, uh, funding made available by the European Union, the uh, uh, British government uh, uh, and the, uh, recently the government of the Netherlands, 
uh, this government of Switzerland and so forth, who are actually uh, working closely with the uh, government, federal government of Nigeria, who has shown the, uh, the strong uh, leadership in this uh, to be able to uh, make services available for retaining migrants. All right, Ibrahim, thank you so much for talking to us on TVC Breakfast. Thank you.